This video is brought to you by Tomahawks, because there is no better way to take off your opponent's nuts than with a nice tomahawk to the balls. Hello and welcome to Fear Genocide's Top 3 Games of 2012. I know it's a little late, but oh well, and also this is just my opinion, so don't be hatin'. Alright, let's start things off with the number 3, obviously. Assassin's Creed 3. Obviously, great game. The campaign is fun. The world is massive. The graphics are great. The only reason it's probably the only reason I should say it, that it's not placed higher is because uh, at the time of doing this, I have still yet to test out the multiplayer, which I assume will be just as good. After all, I remember playing Brotherhood's the beta for Brotherhood's multiplayer from back when that first came out. I was loving that. But I still gotta get around to testing this one's multiplayer one of these days. And let's see. Now the reason why it's not play Sire is Connor. Kinda lame as a character. I mean, the things they can do with the bow and the tomahawk. Yes, I love the tomahawk. I mean, really, just tomahawk. But kind of, the character just kind of sucks. He's really just bland. I mean, especially compared to Ezio, and even compared to Altair, there's just not much to Connor. He seems one-dimensional in comparison. I mean, come on, it makes Desmond look like a better character. I wonder if they did that on purpose. But regardless, playing as him is still fun as long as he keeps his trap shut. And then, to bring up Desmond again, he's still Desmond, no one likes Desmond. But, at least the segments where you play as him in the modern world are awesome. I love them. They have been some of my favorites moments in the game out of the Animus. Especially the one where you go into Abstergo, spoiler alert, and once you get the gun, I just, poo, 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 I loved using it. You also answered the question of why don't you ever see assassins using guns in modern day. But now you do. So in short, good game, good story, surprising ending, but cons, Lame playable characters. Very, very lame playable characters. So that's number three. Okay, number two is a game that's going to receive a little bit of hate just because I put it on here. Mass Effect 3. Some people complain saying it's the worst game ever because of the ending. But you know what? I really don't care about the ending. It has, haven't Wiseman throughout history said it's not the destination that matters, it's the journey. And the journey is amazing. Even if you don't like the ending. Hell, I've even replayed older ones just so I could have save files so I could see different things that happened during that journey in this one. The Reapers look awesome. Everything looks awesome. The combat is the best in the damn series. And then, the characters are funny as ever. I am Garrus Vicarian, and this is my favorite spot on the Citadel. I'm going to bronze this gun. Awesome. And Shepard is still Shepard. Oh, I wish I could stop hitting on everyone just when I say hi. And well, that's about it. Also, multiplayer was rather fun. So that's number two. This next one, I just wanted to do a little honorable mention. Some people are going to hate me for mentioning it. Some people are going to hate me for not putting it at number one. But I thought I deserved it. Black Ops 2. Now, yes, it's a Call of Duty. Yes, you can say it's the same as things all the damn time. But you know what? I actually was surprised by how much I liked it. The campaign being more RPG-like in nature, where you can have multiple endings based on not only the choices you make, but how you do, depending on the mission. Multiplayer now actually depending on score, like in Medal of Honor, 
as rather to kill streaks. So if you're a more objective player, you will be more likely to get these higher streak rewards as compared to where before you couldn't. And it, in zombies, is better than ever before. I don't care if you hate it for being Call of Duty, but this game took me by surprise with how much I liked it. This is the first Call of Duty since the first Modern Warfare that I can straight up say I enjoy to play. That's right, I enjoy playing Call of Duty Black Ops 2, and while it's not in the top 3, it does deserve an honorable mention in my opinion, just because it surprised me that much. Alright. As with the honorable mention, this game took me by surprise entirely, which is why it got boosted to number one, and that game would be Medal of Honor Warfighter. Some people are going to hate it because, oh, it's just a clone, it's just a clone. No, it's not. It feels like its own game completely now. It is fun. The game looked great. In fact, the first day I played it, I didn't even touch the multiplayer, and once I did start to touch the multiplayer, I fell in love. I literally stayed up till somewhere between 5 and 6 in the morning just playing the multiplayer. And that was after like midnight or 1 in the morning when I finally decided to try the multiplayer. Up until then I had only been playing single player, which I'm still replaying single player because I love it. Characters are at least not entirely one dimensional. The missions are actually pretty varied sometimes. Yeah, there are a few short ones, I mean, but what you gonna do? Not everything's perfect. But I mean, once the larger missions, you do tend to do a variety of stuff. Now you're running, now you're breaching, now you're sniping, all in the span of a single mission. The multiplayer is expansive, to say the least. Over 100 things to put on each gun. The sort of, um, sort I'm looking for. I can't think of the word now, but it's set up sort of like Battlefield where you have the different slots. Whereas in Call of Duty, it's just kind of chaotic with what, with what all you can put on there. You have a ton of stuff, a ton of camos, a ton of different units. You have 12 different units to play as with six classes, so with all those combinations each having their own primary weapon, their 72 we primary weapons to choose from, it's just a ball to play. So this is why Medal of Iron Warfare is my number one game of 2012. I'm out.